You guys asked me after the last PC video if I could go cheaper. When you take a look at the guts, you're going to see we're running an i7 4790K, 8 gigs of RAM, integrated graphics, and a whole lot of dust. It's got two PCI slots, however, this PSU has no expandability for extra power consumption. You're pretty limited with what you can add to this. So how much is this? 40 bucks. And we're gonna see if we can stream with this. Yep. Dope. Let's fire this puppy up and see what she can do. Before we get started, just a reminder, I stream every Monday, Thursday, Friday on Twitch. Links in the description down below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. The overall goal of this was to see how cheap we could get a realistic streaming PC to be, how far we could push it, and how far would a couple of minor upgrades push the stream quality. If you're on a run one PC setup and you're struggling to do it, do this. We tested three ways. The first, no upgrades direct to NDI. The second, we got an NVIDIA GT 710 also going to NDI. And the third, we got a $79 capture card. We started with the zero upgrade rig first. It required a lot of quality downgrades. We had to keep it at 720p and the encoder had to be set to ultra fast. And we were only able to get a static webcam because the animated webcam was just too much for it to handle. Though adding alerts did make the stream drop to 45 FPS. Dropping down to 41 frames per second, 39 frames per second. And we also had to have the preview turned off else we would drop a bunch of frames The reason why it's dropping frames due to render lag is because the preview was open And it's having a hard time rendering that as well as encoding at the same time But after that we had a smooth 60 FPS all day long and honestly it didn't look half bad. Yeah, so we're at 35% Then pull up the uh, preview window again Dropped frames immediately up to 66 percent dropping down to 41 frames per second 39 frames per second Close that preview window ah. 40 dollars even and I guess the cost of an ethernet cable and you got yourself a completely doable stream The render lag ended up being the main bottleneck for us The i7 had no problem encoding but the integrated graphics is where we struggled If I increase the amount of RAM available to the integrated graphics I think that might get us a few more frames part of the problem we're looking at isn't that the CPU is being bottlenecked, is that the GPU, the integrated GPU is being bottlenecked. Because our CPU is only getting up to about 30 to 40% max, but the, it's dropping frames due to rendering lag, which is caused by GPU max. That makes sense, GPU max, a maxed out GPU? Yeah, max. You know what I mean. Uh, looks like it's set to 128 megabytes of dedicated video memory. I think we can uh, bump that up. <laughs> significantly. Is that part of the problem? That is probably part of the problem. This made us think, what cheap upgrades could we do to change this experience? How much would it upgrade the quality of the stream? And would the added cost be worth it? We threw in a tiny NVIDIA GT 710 that we had left over from our two PCs in one video. I got it for around $35 on Amazon. That gave us a lot more headroom to work with. Let me see. This is a totally viewable stream. I don't see any dropped frames. 60 FPS. Zero problems at all. 27% CPU. I think we could go one more step. Fast? Yeah, I think we could do it. How about, what, what about instead of jumping up one uh, one level of encoder, why don't we throw the animated overlay on it? Okay, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, yeah, let's yeah. do that. Uh, what, color should, what color do we want this to be? Red. Blue, a little bit of a gradient to red. Yeah, let's do it. How do we want to get it on that thing? Flash drive? Flash drive. Do you have a flash drive? You don't have like any network drives or anything you can just drag and drop it to? What, like? Dropbox? I'm done. <laughs> We're done here. <laughs> these WebM files. It's not a crazy animation, but these WebM files are CPU hogs. Good. Throw a WebM animated overlay on it and then see what the CPU's at. We're gonna see if this is really viable. Let's also throw your alerts on, by the way. They're, they've been on the whole time. <laughs> Let's fire some up. We were able to add a simple animated overlay and push the encoder to very fast. It was handling alerts, no problem with no drop frames. We kept it at 720p because upping the pixels added unnecessary stress to the processor. And at this point, pixels weren't the bottleneck for us. It was the quality of the pixels and the encoder was more important. We pulled back out the GPU and replaced it with our Cam Link capture card. First off, massive upgrade, smooth frames for days. Even though we weren't able to push the encoder any higher, the stream looked a lot smoother. Look at that. 3.7 milliseconds for rendering. And average MS, that's its streaming was 15.2. Oh my gosh. I knew, I knew that, I knew render lag and NDI were synonymous with each other. I just knew it. It took some work to set the resolution in Elgato software properly, but after about five minutes, we had it working. 
we're gonna start worst to best settings. This is ultra fast. Oh, yeah. You can instantly, you can see the pixelation. Oh, yeah. But it is smoother. It is a smooth, I mean, I would rather have a pixelated stream than, than a stuttery stream any day. Like you could still make this, you got better lighting on your camera, better placement on the camera. So the camera looked okay. Like this for forty dollars, because most people with that need a streaming PC like are dropping frames like crazy. They don't have yep. a PC that can handle gaming and streaming at the same time. So to be able to hit sixty frames, oh, one hundred percent. This is huge. But yeah, you can see a ton of pixelation, especially when you move fast. You get a little bit of that NDI stutter. All right, jump up to the next one. Let's see this one and the one with the GPU yeah. when we moved it up to super fast. Uh, GPU on faster. Look at that stuttering. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it looks better than the ultra fast, but I feel like it's more stuttery. Well, they should be this. The stuttery is caused by NDI, but yeah, the image quality in this one is a lot better. So this is a $35 upgrade. Yep. So $40 PC, $35 upgrade for this. Okay, yeah, huge difference huge in the pixelation. It's very viewable, and this this is a very good top quality stream. I I bet you most of the Overwatch streamers around don't have a stream better looking than this. Yeah, I agree. It needs to be designed a little better, but yeah, I mean. As far as like their gameplay. We got a much less pixelated screen and we got an animated overlay which we could make a little bit, you know, fancier if we wanted to. And by the way, you can get that uh, you can get that cam link for 80 bucks if you okay. want to get it refurbished. So that'd be a $120 solution? Honestly, if it were me, I'd go for the whole 120. Yeah. But like if you can't go 120, that's still a worthy every single upgrade is totally worth it. Oh yeah, 100%. If you have the money for it. But like, I mean, so at this point, if you can find a, a PC like this at your local college, like the surplus, oh yeah, I mean, yeah. Um, absolutely. Yeah. If you're on a run, one PC setup and you're struggling to do it, do this. Oh yeah. You also have to get, but you also have to get uh, either another mouse and keyboard. Yep. And another monitor. They actually sold the mouse and keyboards there for $1.50 each. Oh, okay, so, so. $3 for mouse and keyboard. Yeah. You could probably find a cheap monitor somewhere, like on eBay. Like people, and they sold monitors for twenty dollars there. Okay, so another twenty-three dollars for the mouse, keyboard, and monitor. Yep. Okay. So overall, the full setup is sixty-three dollars. Yeah. For the low end. Low end, yep. Okay. If you don't, a lot of people have extra monitors lying around. And mouse and keyboard. So yeah. Okay. We're absolutely worthy, totally worthy purchase if you're running on a one PC setup that can't handle both. Oh, definitely. Yeah. So. For the conclusion, if you're on a single PC setup and you're struggling, you're dropping frames and you're having a hard time getting a proper good looking stream, then $40 at your local university might save you a bunch of headaches. Keep in mind though, when you are shopping for these PCs, I wouldn't go anything lower than an i7. Every price increase we added increased stream quality drastically. If you can afford the $80 for the refurbished cam link, it's easily worth the price. If you have any other questions about this build or any other build, just a reminder, I stream every Monday, Thursday, Friday on Twitch, links in the description down below. You can also talk with thousands thousands of people and come up with your own ideas like this one on your own in our super active discord community. Guys, I'm going to be honest, I don't think I can go cheaper than this. I'm getting on balloon. Yeah, I'm breaking up. Oh, I got him, dude! From the balloon! Oh, oh dude.